Sheldon is hungry. He's eating the door. What a dog. Oh boy. Yeah, we got all these bricks to put up and the dogs are in Sue's car. Uh, we're going to get those bricks done and here she comes with some more. Then we are going to either go for a ride on the bikes or go for a ride in the car. I don't know which, but she got here about 7 o'clock last night, 7.30. Missed Big Bang. We'll be back. Now that's 25 bricks. We got it all the way to here. And we need two large bricks for down here. Um, we had four left over. And they're going in the back. It'll take that many again to finish the back. I've got part of it done, but not all of it. So we're going to go to town and get parts. Got to load up the trailer, so we're out of here. We're back. We went and got a load of wood. Uh, we brought some wind with us, and we got uh, 12 sheets of drywall. So I'm going to work on all that stuff tomorrow. I might work on get a little bit of this wood in, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, got everything. Baby's out here. He wants to go, get back in the car and go without us. All right. I think we need to go to Cares. Or where do we need to go? We need to go somewhere to visit somebody. So I might just do that next. Well, Sue's out riding her crotch rocket. I think I see her way out there. Going probably faster than she needs to. Moving along pretty good. Well, we're not going to get anything done today. Went to the store and Sheldon's sliming the windows. Get out of the window. Come on. Move. Move. You're going to have this stuff all rusted up. Jeez, look at this. He's a slime ball. I pumped some more stuff into the wall. This wall here and all that over there should have uh, solid foam in it because I packed it around the, uh, the door a long time ago. So that should be okay. Got a heck of a mess in here. Dogs are running back and forth, being crazy. They're being dogs is what they are, right, baby? They're not dogs. They, they, people just think they're dogs. Sheldon's eating the door. Let's just slime everything. Slime it. Go ahead. Hi, I'm a slime ball. I slime everything. And he does. So... I guess uh, drinking a 90 shilling here. Uh, that's good beer. Anything that says Coors or Budweiser, that is, bleh. that's kind of like puking a bottle. Well, let's see what else I can do. We had a lot of extra foam, so we're going to foam the garage doors, the uh, solid foam. I forgot about foam in the garage doors. I forgot about it totally. But we got a lot more insulation that needs to go up. In the garage at least. And then I need to seal the doors. You can see, see light coming in there from the light outside. But tonight I got to work on this wall a little bit. Get it done. And I might get some of that foam out and start putting more of it up. But there's our sunset. Alright, back to work. Hi everybody. We're probably not going to get any work done today. We're going to go to town. Got to get dog food. Should have done that yesterday, but we forgot. And I have a list of stuff that we need. So, gotta take the bikes and their slime ball, sliming the floor. I don't know what his problem is. And there's Smiley, 
you follow me smiley, I'm just going to turn around and look the other way. Yeah, they're smiley. We still have a load of wood out here. To put up and all kinds of stuff. So, off we go. Hi everybody, I've been working on this room all day. Got drywall up and some of it. I'm going to go out and get another sheet now. Been kind of slow and punctuated by Twilight Zone reruns. Have to have something to think about late at night. Be scary. It's kind of gloomy outside. We want to go for a ride, but it's 38 degrees. Probably won't happen today. But back to work. And I, I think I can get one more sheet right there. And then I have scrap that will fit up there. And three sheets there. So, got it made. Back to work. Hi. Happy New Year's, everybody. We got... Oh, Sheldon, stop digging. Digging to China. I got most of this done yesterday. I put the 12 volt outlets up high because this is going to be the bedroom. There's four 12 volt. Sheldon, stop it. Four 12 volt outlets in here. They're up high and the AC outlets will be down low. So that way. If you're in bed and want to plug something in, you just reach over and do it. Uh, going to replace that light later after we get the walls up. Down there on the floor, I don't know if you can see it or not, is the, um, the wood that we're going to be using. I just put a piece on there just to put a piece on there. You gotta still have to seal up the cracks in here on, in the drywall. And uh, that's about it. So that's what we're doing. I didn't have any screws. Ran totally out of two inch screws. I know I bought two packages of two inch screws. And I can't find either one of them. But anyhow, that's where we're at. I'm gonna probably go to town today, Alamo Cordo, a little bit later and get uh, something. I don't know what. Sue's not feeling good, so she might have to stay here with the dogs. Yay! I don't have to take the dogs. But, anyhow, that's what we're doing. Got a mess in here, as you can tell. But that's all our flooring. 21 packages of flooring that I had to move yesterday. My back is killing me. So, gonna get started. I uh, think I'm gonna try and just finish this room up before we do anything and then see how Sue's feeling. Alright, back to work. Well, I've been slacking on the videos. Uh, it is New Year's Day at about 6.30ish because this is the second Big Bang. Got all that done today. Still need to do that little bit and that little bit. We went back to the store and got a couple of shelves, shelf sets because I was totally tired of the clutter. So we're going to put shelves up in here for when we are here. Probably use them later down the road too. Just put clothes and everything on them because I think it just gets too cluttered. You look at this mess. And that's actually been cleaned up. So Sheldon has found himself a, a home behind the bunk. That's his little fort. So anyhow, that's where we're at. I'm going to go ahead and publish this one tonight, even though we haven't got a lot done. Uh, one interesting surprise is it's a super moon, a super bright moon. And for the last three nights, we've been getting voltage in here just off the moon. I've been charging at about three-tenths of a volt just off the light of the moon. 
so that's a big plus. Uh, I kind of like that. It just means to me that things are working. I can hear the water pump running. I don't know what she's doing in there. So we're running, pulling 22 amps on uh, 12 volts right now. It's at 12.45 volts. And yeah, 12.46 volts roughly. The water pump shut off and it dropped down to 5 amps draw and 8 amps on the 110. And we're, we're actually charging. Not very much, but it's charging on a full moon. Pretty cool. We went and got some more food. Got a dog door. It's going to go down there, I guess, in that corner. Um, what else do we get? Got screws for the wood that's going to go along the base, uh, on the wall. And I need to put some mud in that, uh, in the cracks in the wall, in the seams. Need to do all that stuff. Anyhow, we're going to cook us a steak and maybe uh, watch TV and give up for the night. I'll go ahead and get this one published. Got the steaks here all marinated and the oven's heating up. Oven's got to be 450 degrees with the uh, frying pan in there. If you like hot sauce and pepperoni pizza, you got to try this. This on pepperoni pizza is just amazing. Got to try it. But anyhow, we're going to have steaks tonight. They're right there and uh, the whatever that thing is, the frying pan's in there heating up. You can see all the dust on my dust magnet here. And another surprising thing that we found, these are those super heavy duty, super strong magnets. This is the meteor, the thing that we think might be a meteorite. It is attracted to the magnets. Surprise, surprise. So there is a possibility that they're meteors. Anyhow, back to work. Yeah, there's the steak cooking. Three to five minutes after you take the frying pan out of the oven. You want it to cook for three to five minutes. Yeah, you can cook a little bit more depending on your liking of the steak. I got corn cooking too. That's how you do it. About three to five minutes, I'll flip them over and uh, let that side cook. If they need done more, you stick the frying pan back in the oven with the steaks in it. We'll be back. Probably, I'm going to try and publish this, really. I forgot to say that before you cook the steak, you need to marinate it in something or use a steak rub. For this, I used Santa Fe seasoning, the Desert Blend, grill rub and seasoning. So you need to let it let the steak come up to room temperature. Put a little uh, olive oil on each side of the steak. Then put that stuff on the steak or a something similar. Rub it in and let it set for an hour or two. And uh, put it somewhere where the bugs can't get to it or anything like that. I put it in the oven. But uh, there's side, side one. Side two is cooking now. And uh, we're going to have ourselves a meal here in a few minutes. 